Tigers. Welcome to the first episode of KCA G9 News. I'm Ava. I'm Cameron. We hope you've had a wonderful start to the school year. Let's begin our show with some school announcements. Homecoming is right around the corner. The homecoming dance will be Saturday, September 9th from 7 p.m. to 11 p.m. The theme is Enchanted Forest. Speaking of homecoming, this week there are four great dress-up days to celebrate homecoming week. Today's theme is Tacky Taurus. Tomorrow is Color War, so make sure to wear a freshman color of green. Thursday is Decades Day, and Friday is Tiger Pride. Let's learn a little bit more about our principal and AP team. Hey guys, it's Mr. Meyer. So I'm your principal. I just wanted to take a minute to introduce myself to you and, and let you get to know me just a little bit. So this is my second year as the principal of the ninth grade campus. Um, absolutely love being here. Excited to see everything we're gonna we're gonna get to accomplish this year. A uh, little bit about me. Some things you may find interesting. I love the Texas Aggies. Um, gig them all day, every day. We'd love to go to A&M football games, A&M soccer games. Um, just any time we get a chance to go to College Station, absolutely love being outdoors as well. I'm an avid outdoorsman, love to hunt. I've um, got a place that I get to go, so uh, just how I like to spend my time. And if I'm not hunting or at a and Athletics, I'm with my, my two little girls, Kinley and Colby. They are uh, in sixth and second grade at Stewart Elementary. Uh, they are the light of my life. They are soccer players and dancers, and I have no other free time because whatever free time I have, they take. Uh, I've got a wife named Katie who's a health teacher at Pete, and so that's just a little bit about me. All right, hello, my name is Jason Milo. I'm one of the APs here at the ninth grade campus. My output is A through D. Um, I'm over transportation. I work with the ELA and both the local department as well. Um, this is my third year here on this campus. Um, previously before, I worked at Stockton and Washington Junior High as, as a basketball, football, and track coach. In my spare time, I like to go fishing, I like to play basketball, and I'm also a DJ on the weekends. Just enjoy spending time with my family. Good morning, Conroe High School, ninth grade campus. I'm Mr. Hokemp, and my alpha is E through the L's. And uh, this is my 10th year at this campus. I opened up this campus, but I've been teaching for coaching for 39 years. I was a head coach football coach at Oak Ridge and then come on high. So I enjoy sports. I really like to go deer hunting and do those kind of things for myself. But we got an outstanding year started here at Conroe 9. I think you will all like your freshman year. And then you get to move on to the big campus and then enjoy all the things that Conroe High School offers. So I just want to encourage you all to do the right thing and be respectful and we'll do the same with you. And then your career at Conroe, you will get a lot of things and benefits from that. So let's all work together. I'm excited about this year. Stick them time. Okay, hi guys. I'm Dr. Trevino, one of the assistant principals at this building. I am over the letters LB through RA. However, uh, if your last name starts with a different letter, I'm here to help you. Uh, a little bit of, about who I am. Um, so one of the things that I love doing on my weekends is uh, just sit in my living room, watch TV, and I see, you know, I have these big windows and I can see the birds come to my bird feeders and some squirrels sometimes to eat. Um, I have two cats, Butter and um, Luna. And I have two kids, uh, Sergio and Anna. I, a little bit more about myself, I don't like to eat meat, so I'm what is considered a vegetarian. Um, and I'm very happy to have you here. If you need anything, remember I'm here uh, to help you to be successful at Conroe Night. Hi, my name is Miko Timmons, and I am an assistant principal here at Conroe Night. My alpha that I have is from RIB through C, and I would like to tell you guys a little about myself. I My favorite color is purple, so that's why my hair is purple. Um, it means royalty. I do this in honor of my brother who was um, gunned down and murdered in Third Ward, so I try to let, allow his legacy live through me. He was an um, athlete. He was in, um, he was I had a full scholarship at New Mexico University, and his life was taken away from him when he was only 20 years old. So 
what I do here at school is to ensure that all my kids that I have in my alpha get the opportunity to be successful in high school and be able to go to a college, a trade school, or to just open up a business. One of my favorite things I like from my students and that is artwork. I love artwork. One of my favorite things is the eyes. I have a lot of different type of artwork. Um, I'm into uh, Marvel, so I like I like all different types of superheroes that's dealing with Marvel. I'm also a grandmother. I have a four-year-old grandson who think the world of me. I want me to always wrestle with him and play fight. So um, if you need anything or you need to just come by my office and talk to me, my door is always open. And now here's Mr. Meyer with the Meyer Minute. Hey guys, Mr. Meyer again, welcome to Meyer's Minute. So every so often I'll get on the video announcements and I'll take some time to go over a couple things with you and just give you some reminders. And so this week what I wanna to talk to you about is a couple of different things. One is your ID. Guys, you've been hearing us in the hallway, uh, mention it to your parents actually last night at our parent meeting, you have to wear your ID all day, every day. It being in your pocket doesn't count. It being tied to your backpack doesn't count. It needs to be where we can see it and it needs to be above your waist. If you've lost your ID, you can get a replacement. You just need to let the AP office know. And if you just forgot it that day, mistakes happen, that's okay. You can, you can purchase a temporary ID, which will be a sticker form and you need to fix that to your shirt and you can get that in the AP office as well. The other thing is dress code. So we've gone over dress code with you guys. You need to make sure that you are following the dress code. One of the ways that we're gonna help enforce the dress code is you will hear us come on the announcements and say that we are doing a dress code check. At that time, teachers are gonna check your dress code. If you're out of dress code, you're gonna get sent to the office. If you have a question or you're not sure if something's in dress code, don't take the chance. Um, Teachers are going to be checking all day, every day as well, and so they may send you to the office if you're out of dress code, or somebody may stop you in the hallway and send you to the office, so make sure you're following the dress code. If you're not sure what the dress code is, see an administrator during lunch and we'll be happy to fill you in. Another random check we'll do is we'll do random ID checks to make sure that we've got those IDs on. So even when you're in class and you want to go to the bathroom, you need to have your ID around your neck. It's a school safety issue, guys. You'll see your teachers all have their IDs on. All of the admin and counselors have their IDs. When everybody wears their ID, we know who belongs in this building. And so that's why we're going to hold you accountable for that. Uh, wishing everybody a great year. Look forward to seeing all of you. Have a good day. Well, that's it for this episode of KCIG 9. New episodes of KCIG 9 air every Monday, so stay tuned. Thanks for watching. I'm Ava. And I'm Cameron. Keep achieving, Tigers. <laughs>